Welcome back. So let's try and check out um, and actually grab this data from Firebase and let's see that data actually being presented. So what I'm going to do is I'm going into the home component. Now the code for this that I'm going to write now is actually found inside the docs retrieving data as a list inside the Angular Fire setup. So you can go and grab that yourself if you want to. You're pretty much just going to start out with just dependency injection and injecting Angular Fire and then you're just going to call whatever items you want to pull for the system and that's so amazing and so easy to work with. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pull out the data and we're going to present it asynchronously inside um, our actual UI. So let's try and do that. Uh, first of all, I'm going to, as it said, make um, just get a dependency injection for angle of fire here. So that's step one. There we go. Now, remember, you need to do the import if it didn't do it automatically for you. Now, what it means is I can actually hear I created a small list of users here. That's what I want to present inside the UI. So now I can actually say this dot users uh, equals, and then I'll just say af dot uh, database dot, and then the list I want to get. And in our case, it's called users. Now remember the thing that I'm always forgetting that you have to put this in front of anything you have inside your database setup here. So I'll do private af, and I'll do this. And now it should actually put that in there. Now it's not a list of users, like I said right here. It's actually an observable of the type uh, list users in my case. So this is what we're going to present. Now the users right now, of course, has already a username, password, and email available, just like what we have in our console here in Firebase. So it has to be the same setup that you have there. Now we have the user pulled down from Firebase. That's how easy it is. So what I want to do is I want to represent it in the HTML and here's just going to be right now I'm just going to do a simple p tag just to make it easy and there I'm going to do an uh, ngf and ng4 sorry and it's going to be um, let user of users here that's how easy it is and then here I want to just grab the information about the first user here and I just want to get his username just to present here I don't want to do anything more than that. Now, of course, it'll make a p tag for each user. Let's actually make it a div just to make it um, more usable here. And now let's see if that actually shows up inside our course planner. Now we got an exception. Let's see what that is all about. Cannot find an object object. And then d4. Oh, what's wrong here? Well, I need to make a pipe here. So I need to make a pipe like this and write async. Now, this is kind of magical. The first time I saw it, I was at least. A very oh my god you just have to do that but that actually solves it and that's because this is observables and we'll get more into that but um, before I wrap this video up let me show the same solution here without the async but notice the async just kind of says don't show this until the data is actually pulled down if I did this manually instead I would have to go into the TS file here and say instead of setting up the users like this I would have to make a um, I would have to make a subscribe just like we tried to make our own observer earlier and here I would write users and I would then in here say that I wanted to set this users equals to users. So that would be the manual way to do it um, just to get the exact same solution actually as the one we just had before. Now I of course need to remove this observable part up here again like this. Now it will actually show the users again. And now I don't have to add the async here. So if you really are not into the async part, you can do it manually as well, right? But I just proved I have access. That's the most important thing. And I really want the async part. So I'll just put that back here. And then you guys can consider what you guys want. If you want to use the subscribe yourself, or you just want to use the async to grab the data. That was all for this lesson. That's how simple it is to get data from an Angular um, 2 application from a Firebase uh, database. So that's all you have to do. See you in the next slide where we'll start making something real. So have fun. Bye-bye.